St. Joseph. What are ways that we can honor St. Joseph? First of all, we can participate in Holy Mass when we celebrate his feast day. During the church year, we celebrate St. Joseph two days. We celebrate St. Joseph on March 19th, and that would be St. Joseph, the husband of Mary. Then there's another feast that we celebrate in honor of St. Joseph, and that would be on May 1st, and that would be St. Joseph the Worker. So by going to Mass and honoring him, by listening to the Word of God, listening to his virtuous life, but especially by receiving Holy Communion, which is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ, this would be indeed a real tribute to great St. Joseph. Second would be to... Um, to read on St. Joseph, St. Francis de Sales, St. Bernardine of Siena, St. Teresa of Avila have written on St. Joseph. But also John Paul II, his pontificate, wrote a beautiful document on St. Joseph, which is the guardian of the Redeemer. It's not long, but a beautiful document. One point John Paul II says is, wherever St. Joseph was, he always made the best of it. And I think that's a lesson for us. As they say in California, bloom where you're planted. Bloom where you're planted. So wherever you are, try to make the best of your circumstances as St. Joseph did. Then uh, pray to St. Joseph on a daily basis. Get into that habit. Try to learn a form of prayer. Memorize a prayer in honor of St. Joseph. This would be very pleasing to him. There are many prayers. But also a very beautiful prayer that you can say in honor of St. Joseph would be the litany. There are various litanies for saints, for the Sacred Heart, for the Blessed Mother, but also there's a litany, litanies in honor of St. Joseph. And there are a string of short phrases, <coughs> very poetic, often biblical, that express in a very special way, the virtues of this great man of God, St. Joseph. So get in the habit of praying the litany to good St. Joseph. And then, <clears throat> it's a good idea to pray for the grace of a holy, happy death. St. Joseph is a patron of a holy and happy death. So I'd like to end by praying a beautiful prayer to a holy family where St. Joseph is an integral part. Here's the prayer. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I give you my heart and my soul. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, make my heart like unto yours. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I breathe forth my soul unto thee. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. May God bless us through the intercession of St. Joseph.